The British World Modern Pentathlon champion Mari Spence was a favourite for the gold medal at the London 2012 Olympics. The Games were a glorious time for Team GB, who came third in the medals table after China and the USA, with a record haul of medals. It was by far our most impressive Olympic performance in modern history. People around the country felt pretty proud to be British, but there were the forgotten athletes for whom things didn't work out, fairly or unfairly. Spence told the BBC, for me, it was a disaster. I can't describe it in any other way. I felt it destroyed part of me. She was 26 years old and an athlete at the peak of her sport when she stepped out at Greenwich Park on the afternoon of the 12th of August 2012 to compete for the final gold medal of the London 2012 Games. A steady performance in the morning's fencing and swimming had left her in ninth position, but with the show jumping, her strongest event to follow, she was well placed to make her move for the Olympic title. Until that is, she was allotted a mount named Coronado's son in the random draw. She said, I got on the horse and straight away felt out of control. My coach looked at me and the horse said, what was going on? What's happening? I said, I'm not doing anything. It went from bad to worse and she came 21st at the end, a forgotten footnote in the greatest sporting event in the world. Having been bullied at school, and had so many knockbacks. To have success in London would have let me say to others, look what I've done. You can do it too, said Spence. I wanted to show people who I was. Instead, I felt I'd let everyone down. I felt like I was a nobody, that I shouldn't be in my GB kit. But after a break and some traveling, Spence is now back in the sport she never wanted to bother with again after the Olympics. Even now, it's not gone, she said, some days I do find it hard. I ask myself, could I train for four more years and then have exactly the same thing happen to me? But I felt I owed it to myself. All the years of hard work, the brutal sessions, it wouldn't be right not to come back. In fact, the famous line from Rudyard Kipling's iconic poem, If, about how you meet with triumph and disaster is tattooed in black ink on the inside of Spence's left forearm. It's a permanent reminder of the Olympic ordeal she has come through and will hopefully overcome in 2016 with, who knows, a gold medal. So what makes you get back up from a failure or a series of failures? And quoting again from Kipling, let me ask you this, how much are you prepared to and I quote, watch the things you gave your life to broken and stoop and build them up with worn out tools. You, we have a choice. A choice of giving up and leaving a huge gulf of frustration in our lives because of what didn't succeed. An empty set of enriching potential future chapters to a book therefore with no worthwhile ending. Or we replot, we rewrite and we reinvigorate our own story which is more likely to help us get over our failure or failures and produce a more compelling chapter and chapters in our life story and our life success. Now, if you like this video blog, then please feel free to share it with others who will also hopefully like it. And in addition, both you and they can also enjoy even more material, including a free copy of my special report on communication via the link at the end of this video. Thank you and enjoy.